Hello out there, YouTube. Sorry if my jaw looks unnaturally white. I went to a, co a costume party last night and um, haven't washed off all the makeup yet. Uh, hi, how are you? I'm, I'm a little crazy. I had a rough, rough week. Um, <clears throat> things have been very busy, and that's why I wanted to talk to songwriters out there like myself, music creators, who um, are struggling in whatever way, but particularly in the matter of finding time and finding motivation. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, um, it's coming toward the end of the year, and my paying clients, who have nothing to do with music, uh, are in a, are a big rush and push to get things finished. October and November are the worst every year. Um, this year, it seems especially bad. And I just want to tell them, but I haven't finished my demo album yet, which I'm trying to finish by the end of the year. It's all my songs that I um, started recording in 2018. I just want to get them done. You know, it, it was a personal goal of mine. So why, why do I do this? Some of you understand. Um, no, I don't get paid for making these songs. Hardly anyone listens to them. But I have this inner push, a drive to create new music. It's part of who I am. It's my curse. Some of you know what I'm talking about. And I know, uh, thanks to the internet, I know there are many people like me who have this curse. But it's okay, because it's, it's a blessing too. Because we these, these songs that we create are our children, and they live forever. Um, it's a wonderful thing to be able to create new music, regardless of whether anyone hears it. And that might be, that might sound strange to a lot of you, but some of you will know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so I, don't, I want to encourage you to make the music anyway. Make it as, if, you, if you're like me and you have very little time, I've got 50 hour a week job and three kids under the age of eight. It's nuts. Um, what I do, my advice to you, um, if you can let the quality slip a little bit once in a while, it's okay. Now, some of, for some, for, mon, for many of you, that's that's unacceptable. And well, you do you. But um, for me, if I'm gonna get those songs out there and not go crazy, I gotta just get them out there. You know, I I do it the best I can. I play my instruments the best I can. I mix everything the best I can. Um, the, the, my latest song, um, I'm now I've now decided to redo it a third time because the because the lead guitar is just way too loud, and you know I've been living I've been living with it for two weeks and I'm like I can't I can't do it I can't let my demo out with this one song with the lead guitar way too loud it's it's not going to be acceptable so I do understand sometimes. You have to have a certain level of quality. There's a there's a line that you have to at least meet, if not exceed. Um, I get that. Um, but there's also a, a problem that I have, like songs that I wrote three years ago. I have no interest in. So you, you can't you can't still be working on a song for three years and still f find passion in it. I, I can't. I don't know if anyone can. So there's a balance there. Yes, you want it to sound really great, but there's also a limit to how long you can work on this freaking song before you want to just throw it in the trash. Get it out there in whatever shape, in the best shape that you can, without just working yourself to death over it, especially if you're already working yourself to death in other areas of life. Give birth to those songs. Believe in your songs. Now, by songs, that word is that word is used in different ways. Some of you, many of you probably, will write music and not write any lyrics. And for me, that's not a song, but you call it a song. That's that's different for me. That's like background music, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's not the same thing to me. I, I couldn't write some just a music without words and consider that like a child of mine, but I guess that's more of a personal thing. Again, you, you do you. 
but especially to those of you who are actually writing songs with words, um, believe in your song. Okay, write it the best you can. Make sure that it's everything you want it to be. Um, that is some of the hardest work. Um, I know last weekend I wrote what I know is going to be my last song of the year because I still have to do all this work to get my demo album out. And by out, I just mean out on the internet because I don't have time for all this other stuff that people like to do to try to get their songs out. I just want to get it on the internet so people can listen to it. But anyway, this is the song that I just wrote last week and the lyrics. It can be so hard. You know, you got, you got a family downstairs probably wondering what you're doing. And you're sitting there in your songwriting space going, uh, I know there's a song in here and I just got to get it out. It's so hard. But then some kind of magic happens. I don't even know how. And it just comes. And you write it down. And then you think some more. And you're like, okay, I need a second verse. Uh, and you... I wish I could... I wish I could explain how I do this. But I don't know. It just comes from somewhere. And it finally comes. And you write it down. And then you're like, okay, I need a... I need a bridge. Just a bridge and I'll be finished. And it comes, and you write it down, and you're like, ah, oh, look what I've done. And that's what makes it all worth it. And even if even if your recording isn't 100% great, I mean, nothing I make is ever going to be like radio ready or even CD ready. But it's ready enough for people to hear it. And the song, it's the song, okay? If you're writing lyrics, and if you're writing good songs, how the sound quality shouldn't matter as much because people will hear the song and even if it's lo-fi and even if even if there's a mistake or two they'll hear the song and your song is your child your song is where the life exists and you can take that song if you if you play acoustic guitar you can take that guitar wherever you want to an open mic night and that song will be there, and maybe you can play it even better than you did in the recording on one crazy particular night. The song is where the magic happens. A song is almost... It, a song has its own spirit. Believe in your song. It's one of the few things I can believe in. I, I, know, I know I can believe in my song, because I birthed it created it with magic and I don't even know how but I know I did it because I was there I believe in my songs and I hope that you will too I hope this was helpful for you and um hope you have a great day thanks for listening bye, -bye.